you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Jules Julia. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to get started with the video of me doing my makeup move into putting on some serum for my pores. This one is the Saki, the Peach Saki Pore Serum Skin Food and it's going to help me minimize my pores because I do have really large pores which sucks. So once we have that in, I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of an eye serum under my eyes because my eyes do get to get dry and that's not cute. For a primer, I'm going to go ahead and use a Makeup Revolution and this one is the Pore Blur Primer. And for foundation, I have my Fenty Beauty, which is like my holy grail. I'm almost out. I'm literally like right here, which I love it. I need to go buy myself another one because you can never have uh, you can never have extra Fenty around. Never. As you guys seen, I applied a pretty good amount of Fenty, but didn't do a full coverage because you can still see peekaboo here and peekaboo here. Now, when that happens, is because your beauty blender has a lot of water retained into it. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So if you squeeze your beauty blender, you see that? You see all that water dripping? I have a shirt here so you guys can see. If your beauty blender throws out a lot of water, this is how the foundation does not stay full coverage because there's a lot of moisture. Wow. There's a lot of moisturizer, moisture, there's a lot of water basically retained in the beauty blender, which makes it keeps on absorbing all your foundation. So you want to make sure when you guys are doing it to kind of like dry out, but not as much the beauty blender. So you can have a full on foundation of full coverage. Now watch. Now I'm not saying that all foundations that are full coverage will happen or that are there medium coverage will happen. It's just this is the majority reason why a lot of matte foundations that are medium to full coverage are more like medium coverage. Right, once we have concealer and have put a little bit of bronze contour going on, looks pretty freaking good. We're gonna go ahead and add some powder. Now for my powder, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution and this one's the lace style. I'm gonna put it in this little tap from Aerospong and we're gonna wait. Now, as we're waiting, I am going to do my eyebrows, so let's do our brows. Alrighty, now, now that we have our brows on, we're going to go ahead and just bronze up a little bit the skin. And for highlighter, I decided to go ahead and use this red over here. This is the Glow Kit Sun Dip from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just spray a little bit of Mario Badescu, just to set everything with my beauty blender. This one right here, this is a Morphe palette. This one is their 35V. Okay, so now that we look pretty crazy, I'm going to go put on some lipstick and some eyelashes and we'll be right back. Alrighty now, so the moment we have all been waiting for, especially the one that I've been waiting for, I like, I think I like this vibe, like having my dark hair with like a really bright shirt. I think it's really freaking cute. I'm going to go buy myself another neon top. Okay, so now the moment that we've all been waiting for, we're going to go ahead and spray ourselves with some Huda Beauty. Ooh, yes. Now it does says to shake it and then apply it six inches away. So shake. Alrighty now. Let's pop you open. My camera's about to die. Oh my god. Ah. Okay. Now let's do eight inches. This this looks good enough, right? And it says to go in circle, so okay. <gasps> oh wow I honestly thought it was going to be a spritzer but it's like 
I honestly thought it was gonna be like a spray like the Morphe, but no, it's like actually ch -ch -ch, which doesn't feel heavy. Um, I could definitely feel it on my hair that's a little bit dry, but I mean, it's it's really, really freaking light, which is amazing. All right, so I'm gonna go wash my hair. We'll be right back. Alrighty, biddies, so for the moment we've been waiting for, I literally already ripped off my eyelash. So, and I totally forgot to even close this video. As you guys can see, I'm really not oily as much. And I've been wearing this makeup, what is it, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, for literally a full shift. And it looks still pretty freaking good. My glow is amazing. Now, I did end up dyeing my hair with this makeup on, and I did end up washing my hair. So, like, the makeup around here is still pretty strong. It looks really good. I'm not as oily as I would think. Like, my skin is really oily, so I'm, like, freaking amazed at this product. It's it's a game changer. Like, it's a game changer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna get ready for bed. Ah. Gotta get rid of some glue. This glue is tough. This, this is some tough glue. Uh... Alrighty, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.